The chants from RNG fans are deafening. Of course, those who get ready for this game, important to remember that Prime Gaming is giving away 150,000 RP to multiple fans each day. You can head over to primegamingworlds22.com to enter and make sure to put in today's secret code to get bonus entries. Type exclamation point Prime giveaway in chat to learn a little bit more. And guys, we're gonna learn a little bit more about Singebot, because I know that, I don't wanna say it's common, for Lahens, because it's not an all the time pick, but I've seen it in the Yumi. I love it. I love the concept behind it. Against the Leona and the Aphelios, I'm not sure what to expect. We'll have to see. I mean, the good news is he has TP, right? So early trades will suck regardless, uh, and it will be hard for him to farm with the Aphelios being ranged and Leona having kill pressure. They might give up the push. They might get pushed in, of course, but the TP will help when he gets all in. But they might be late invading both here, RNG. They, ha they are for sure. 1 minute 20, jungler in the bot side river. Will ruler spot it? Yes, he will. Can they contest the 3v3? The answer is no! is big. Ming really aggressive right now. Ruler has to just ditch this bot side. They can't contest this. Peanut's gonna start on his wolves. We have to track how Peanut answers this. Can he move into the top side to take away Wei's red buff? And is it worth it? Do you want to leave your Singe Senna alone yeah. in a 3v2? That's what I'm actually so scared of because for RNG, we're hit on it. Having kind of a counter matchup in top, you have a stronger mid jungle in the early game. If Gal and Ming can get ahead, I feel like Wei's just gonna have complete control of the map. This is a great map state you have to imagine here for RNG. It's so hard for Lehens to be able to farm now in this 3v2, and Peanut hasn't even moved into the top side. That ward on the entrance red there by RNG just at the top of your screen will spot whether Peanut does that. And if he does, the collapse can come in from RNG. Xiaohu will get towards level three by the time he arrives at this point, and Wei can move through mid now to cover it off, it looks like. Here we Chobi. go. Chovy, did he take the Q? He might have, or is he just waiting as long as possible? Force wow. to flash out, he did. Q and W, no E yet. I think the reason that he flashes here is because he will get chased down to the point where he'll inevitably have to flash, and he'll get chunked out and he has no TP. So his lane's pushing out, early flash to keep in health bar, but they're coming back for more. Go one more time, Clutch coming out from Chovy, running for the hills, only level two, one more shot from the gun, can he finish it? Chovy ticking, oh, Chovy no! run back way! Oh, it's so close. That was so dicey for RNG, which sucks because Wei has had such terrific pathing in this first few minutes, getting so much done, already two flashes blown. But that was close. I think the Q from Way there was on top of Chovy rather than in front of where he was running. So the Q2 bounce back didn't actually do any damage. Maybe if that hit, they could have got the kill. But this opened up a window for Peanut to move into the top side jungle and actually take away this red buff, which he had no business in doing so. But because RNG's mid jungle just blew their sums and Way was low HP, he had to go to Wolves to heal up. And now he's going to lose his buff. And that's massive because initially that level one disrupted so much of what Genji might have wanted to do in the early game. But with Way overcommitting just a little bit there on that play, ultimately it means that oh. Peanut's gonna get something back, but they're just gonna continue to force here. Dora not gonna get the time to do anything. There they come, dive inbound, three versus one. Doran, what are you gonna do? Stun coming out, you can't do anything. They're just gonna point and click you down. Oh, it's effortless, it's a clean dive for RNG. And this RNG team has just been so proactive in only the first three minutes of the game. I like how immediately Wei shifts from doing Raptors. Once Breathe communi communicates, hey, I have this wave set up, we can go for it, Shao at push in mid, and everything looking good. Peanut been a bit sneaky, took away the red, took away the Raptors as well, but he had to watch his top laner die all the meantime. Wei just giving up those camps to make that top dive happen. And like I said, Draco, so a lot of proactivity coming out of from RNG. Do they uh, level one invade bot, then they look for a mid gank twice, and then they go towards the top and look for a dive. Genji yet to respond, and in isolation, this bot matchup, the Aphelios is slowly getting ahead as expected. And while they weren't able to kill Chovy, they did the other thing that is so important for RNG, which is free Shahu up to roam. You highlighted it earlier, Eric. This is everything for this squad. Shahu being the guy who can build leads in any lane once he's freed up to get out of his own. And I'm curious to see if they want to go back and, and look for another opportunity top once Wei clears out his camps and, you know, kind of inevitably, inevitably pats up there. Or if they're going to look to make something happen bot right now. They already have some vision in the bottom half of the river. Looks like waves coming into Gala and Ming, and there might be some potential. It's important to note, however, in the midst of everything, big CS leads for both Doran and Peanut. Way, of course, grabbing the kill helps to get the serrated Dirk. will help that early clear a decent amount, but it doesn't make Breeze's life any easier in the early laning phase, especially now that Doran's ticked over to level five, has double Doran's items, and that Q cooldown once you have three points in it, pretty low. Yeah, and the beauty is, I guess, I suppose, for Breeze, though, is he has TP, so he'll let this wave come in, he'll catch it up, he'll still be down in CS, but he can take aggressive trades if he wants, but Way's on the bot side right now. Punish Gen G's bot lane for pushing in CS lead for Gala right now, and they want to make this wave crash because it's kind of frozen for RNG, so Gala will try to hold it a little bit. And like I said, I mean, the Aatrox into Jax, it's actually pretty good early once he gets three points in Q, the cooldown's a lot lower, can trade pretty aggressively. 
getting a bit of vision. RNG has been jungle with pulled off one dive. Now looking for roams around the map. Yeah, again going back to Gala, holding this way here. I, I mean, already finding such a sizable advantage in this matchup. And I mean, when you play Senna plus anything into like an AD carry right, it's a bit rough going up and trying to get farm. But RNG really trying to maximize the advantage that they have. They weren't able to make the roam before the Xiaohu made because Jovi cleared out some vision. But now the Xiaohu has recleared that for themselves. It was good look for the repeat play. I think the biggest thing so far is RNG's both lanes winning in isolation. They shut down mid level one and two, and they shut down top level three. So these lanes that maybe the Azir having to push into Lissandra has just disappeared. Uh, the bot lane in isolation and top lane, as good as it's going for Doran right now, that kill really helps breathe out. Now he's TP back after taking some bad trades. Waves pushing out, waves on the way to cover that. Bot lane's also bouncing here for RNG, but Ruler rushing those boots of swiftness doesn't have much damage, I think, so they can't look for those two to all in. So the game's slowing down a little bit now. Five, six hundred gold lead over to RNG. Peanut, see what he can get done. Just looking for some information here. Looking to collapse towards top side, but will decide to get the crab instead. Yeah, not a lot gonna happen. We'll see what changes as level six start to come out for the junglers. Level six for Shao, who of course already up and available. All the way. Peanut now running. This is going to back off here. Treat now coming in just to defend on the top side. RNG looking for a rinse and repeat. Of course, can't stop the Lissandra EN, so the initial setup still very easy to pull off, but mostly just fo forcing a bit of time out from Peanut. Xiaohu going to have to be careful with how he returns to lane. Individually in the 1v1, is here still a big threat. Chovy just going to settle for a bit of poke for now. Yeah, Chovy hovering around. I think RNG knew that the longer they stand in that tower, the worse it gets, and maybe they weren't confident that they had the damage to one-shot the Aatrox. Xiaohu even swapping over to the Ignite, though. But again, this bot lane, 30 CS lead towards Gala as Lehens catches it. It's getting really tough down here. Um, and I think it's, a, it's inevitable all the time that the RNG just starts stacking these dragons. I mean, they have constant bot push, they're controlling the wave. All they need is way to hover down here to get these dragons. Herald spawning in 30 seconds, so we'll see if GNG decide to respond or look for any kind of cross maps. I'm curious to see if RNG really want to commit to the dragon play because back in the LPL, RNG way more of a team focused on the Rift Herald, but we have seen in plans, RNG actually have been taking quite a few early drakes and just playing to stack those up. With Wei being here already, that might be the play, but Chovy having Cryo, they're going to be able to go for it just yet. Yeah, Chovy with cleanse available as well, makes it a lot easier for him to step forward with some confidence here. RNG collapsing on the top side, Gala pulled up as well. Bot side for Ruin Lehen's not really a fast pushing duo. Of course, Sin Poison actually burns through the wave pretty quickly. So they might be able to get some pressure, maybe a single plate back or two on the bottom side. In the meantime, though, RNG uncontested on this Herald. And Gala being here makes me wonder if they're just going to full swap. He's hovering back towards mid now, but they're going to lose a lot of creeps, but they're going to lose a dragon as well for this. So I feel like this could have been a play that they played a little bit better where they actually just push bot lane. Have uh, Gala go back there in the first place, then move towards mid and secure the Herald with that numbers advantage. But Chobi locked down. Oh, and the CC chain is beautiful. Flawlessly timed from Gala, Ming, and Xiaohu to lock him down. Like you said, just the coordination there. Xiaohu going in, locking Chobi down. And then Gala having the Gravitam able to follow up. Didn't matter that Chobi had the cleanse. Instantly goes down. Didn't commit the flash, so at least no type of repeat play you have to be too afraid of. But huge kill for RNG. Yeah, great play there, punishing Chobi. He's been under a lot of pressure this game with Wei just running through mid constantly from the early stages and Shaohu, of course, the second he digs over the six, despite the cleanse, they do have enough CC to at least burst him out, push him out of lane, if not get a kill if Ming's around. Doran's doing pretty well up in this top lane, up against Breeze. Dragon wasn't taken by Jinji. They got a plate, they got a couple waves in, but they're still down in CS, and Gala will still get this push. Peanut now on this top side. Maybe looking to make something happen. Breeze, no Counter-Strike. Maybe anticipating some sort of gank to come in from way, but instead just focusing on getting the wave in, trying to make sure Breathe cannot just freeze it here. It's quite interesting that RNG haven't really put too much attention top, right? We had the one early gank, but that's been about it. Just leaving Breathe to kind of, oh, to his own devices, scale up for later on. Go. Well, resisting. Short trades from the Jax, just wants to queue in, threaten the stun and then back away and then keep range on the Aatrox to make sure he doesn't get poked out by the Qs. Peanuts in a base. RNG didn't have information on the enemy jungler, but they have so much vision to work with now that they can assume that he is towards the top side. So RNG have so much agency now in the fact that Breed will get a base off. He's not under threat. Four man bot side, they get a dragon and bot vision. Look at the vision on the bot side. Raptors, red, Krugs, everything is warded. And they have a Herald too, so I think RNG can just work with mid and bot push constantly threaten these plays and eventually herald down a tower runs with the cleanse courtesy of the summer spellbook will not get caught out there but that is the drake over to the side of rng 
And they still have the Herald up and available for Way. This has been a really solid early game for RNG, shutting down at the level one. Yes, it went a little bit south and they weren't able to kill Chovy, but it freed up Xiao Hu to run to the top side. Pretty consistent thus far. See if Genji can kind of recover and make some plays of their own, but it'll be tough as long as RNG are still holding on to that Herald. Yeah, we've seen Peanut primarily kind of just shadowing what RNG been looking to do. Hasn't really had the opportunity to make any plays for himself. This lens. You're not supposed to chase the Cinch, but I don't know if that applies for the Support Cinch. There, gonna force the Flash out at least. Lens will back away. Yeah, Ming just using the E Flash there. Second time he's done that this game to keep forcing flashes out of Genji. First it was Ruler, now it's Lehens. That's a TP bolt, so Lehens with the spell book, of course, has a TP. Oh, Ruler oh, now caught out. Big burst damage now coming in. Not quite enough with the Graves ultimate, but here comes Peanut. They're looking to keep this one going. Ruler laying down the alt on the backside. They just don't have the damage on the bottom side. Lehens built a bit of AP, but not quite enough to finish any kills. Shahu TPing to that bolt here when he thought the fight would be a little bit more extended. Wanted to make sure he was first, despite Chovy. Contesting that mid push, just sacrificed his lane to make sure that RNG would win the fight if Genji decided to chase. Nothing comes of it. In RNG, their Rift Hero is actually incredibly close to timing out. I wonder if they're sending Gala and Ming mid now yeah. with Wei. Drop the Herald, get some gold onto AD carry. Doing a nice job having Sha Shahu cover in that bottom lane. Wei has so much discipline, doesn't take the wave. <laughs> Could be an easy Q there, just <laughs> get himself ahead. Could be a bit greedy, but he decides not to. Good how guy Wei. That's how I know you're a jungler. You're like, you're praising him because he's not auto-attacking a cannon creep in a pro game. So juicy. <laughs> Hang on a second, the hens. The hens, the flip back. Shahu, not a ton of mana, should just be able to escape here, yep. but the hens definitely a nuisance, to say the least. So there's the Herald mid. Gold going over to the jungle bot lane of RNG, which are now going to hang around this mid lane. They don't have TP on Xiaohu, so that means that they can defend, breathe a lot easier by having their bot lane mid so they can cover both sides. Genji are going to match it, and this is the threat of having the mid push. You can constantly hover towards the bot side. But Gala's just going to come down here and catch the wave while Xiaohu bases. The hens <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> playing hide and seek with people right now with his X flash. I mean, you are winning oh, the mental uh -oh. game, but what? Alt's just around the corner. Huge increase in armor and MR. He's out, I think. But they're going to be able to grab a lot of plates here. Gala, I'm not sure how much ammo he has left on Infernum or when the Shukram will be back up, but if he has access to the white gun, he's going to shred through this tower. Ruler on the way down, and... Ooh, he's a very squishy boy. Will he walk into the darkness? Ruler. Oh my god, audience. He's got out! He's dead. Oh, the cheers! It should have warned him, but he couldn't hear it through all the white noise. Lehens now moving forward, getting pulled back. The Singe so incredibly obnoxious. Way now running for his heels. Oh. That's a clean flash in. The knock up, the damage, the follow up. Lehens will find the kill with the poison. The lock in coming in from Gal on the backside. Big burst damage coming into the combo. Enough to finish the job. And Gal will Beat? grab a kill. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Chovy versus Xiao who will 1v1. Chovy now chasing for the kill. Flash available. Doesn't look like he wants to use it. No more gap close, doesn't have the E up, but it's just a huge fight in the bot side. RNG win this 3v3 so incredibly hard. Ruder has no sums, he dies instantly. Wei tries to escape. Really good play by Peanut to shut down his ult, uh, kind of gap close to get away by Flash Wing. But RNG are just dominating this game through bot lane. Lehen's just really far behind right now. And we've seen RNG just, again, pushing the pace of the game. This is something I don't think Genji experienced too much back in the LCK. But we're going to see here what happened. Just incredible patience coming out from RNG, able to land the Zenith play. But here, Cajol gets the <laughs> so dicey. Yeah, it does. And this is where Peanut makes this great play to stop Wave from getting the dash. But look at the vision in the top left. Genji are putting their wards defensively in their own jungle. That's how hard it is for them to contest River right now. RNG own the mid bot side of the map. Anyone steps up, Lehens would have been dove if he didn't base. Ruler walks into his own jungle, he dies. It's really hard for them to find any angles right now. And with Dragon up in 50 seconds, I think RNG are just going to be able to secure that really easily. Herald's up, can Genji fight that as well? I, I don't think they can. I think the big struggle right now, honestly, is that Pina and Lehens, the two members who have a lot more freedom to move around the map, don't have a lot of damage. So the later we get, maybe it'll become more of a non-issue. But right now, RNG is so much easier for them to take these fights, to burst out these individual targets. It takes so long for Genji to finish anybody. They're just going to walk in, take this Herald. Genji opting for the spectator play. Walked into the Rift, threatened, hoped maybe RNG would back off, but it does not work. And Shahu's hovering around mid right now. Way almost gets pulled back into Doran. So Shahu can clear the mid wave. So what RNG have done there is a 4-1 rotation, right? Your four from mid go top, your one from bot goes mid, and you don't lose anything. You're only scared. The only thing that RNG have to be scared about is being collapsed on by a five man because Shahu has no DP, but they will all base, come back out on the map, and then start contesting this dragon, which is about to spawn. So 
Genji maybe have to cross map here, keep their members topside, try to threaten this top tier one, try to dive, breathe. The hands coming in, now grounded, gonna throw him back in, not quite gonna hit the Rudy's leaving oh. over, now he's looking for the 1v1 with Ruler, Ruler running. The snare, where's it going to go? The hands chasing him down, the sin just feels oh. like inevitability, breathe just slowly, but surely getting burned down, but no! What the oh. way, what? What? How does he get one back? The patience to hold the leap strike! Yeah, so huge coming up for Breathe. The fact that he made that happen, this is why RNG are so happy to give him this Jax. And he even flashed into the bloody wall. He didn't escape, he misplayed it, but still managed to find the kill. Gala's fighting Peanut here. Gala leaping away, Chove! Massive shutdown, 500 gold into his back pocket. Everything for the Azir. And that could be the difference maker. Chovy with some gold, Chovy with some items. He will outrange everyone on the side of RNG and be able to put up huge DPS later on if Genji can keep holding on. Wei still has this Herald, of course. They got the Dragon too, so they can Herald this mid tower if they want to kill it and take that tower down. Sometimes we see teams hold this Herald, the second one, for a tier two. Obviously gives a lot more gold and they've cracked open bots, so maybe that's what they're waiting for. But up against the Nazir, I think it's just worth it to get that tower down and keep the control around the map. I think especially because we've seen a lot of RNG's success have come from that vision line. They've pushed into Genji's jungle, break open mid turret, they'll be able to do that top side. But this play from Breathe was bonkers. It really was. The the, the root doesn't land with the flip into the into the into the singe W. So he tries to escape here. Let's watch Breathe. He flashes into the wall right now. Oh. So he doesn't escape, but then he still turns around and finds a kill oh. onto Ruler. All the meanwhile, Ming finds Chovy. So there's a lot of skirmishing going on on the map. Look at the damage! Man. I have never been so excited watching a dude hit somebody with a lamppost before, but does it for me. Ruler's laughing that one off. He's like, okay, well, I just got absolutely one shot. Not gonna do that one again. Uh, RNG celebrating the one-for-one -one trade at a numbers advantage in a one before, of course. And now Zhao who's on towards this bot side. So RNG sitting in a 1-3-1, will control the mid-push, have the Herald, agency still all in their favor. 2,000 gold lead, we'll see how Genji defend the map right now. Way oh has the Herald. And like you said, I mean, mid turret's still up. It feels like this is a problem that RNG need to deal with. Chovy only gets closer and closer to his second item. He's gonna be able to non-stop clear these waves. Peanut Doran on the top side. Breathe pretty strong, but no sums available to him. Waiting for the pullback to ensure that they can knock him into the wall. That's the chain CC. TP now coming in immediately. Genji know that it's time to get out. They do not overcommit to the play. Doran gonna ult for the extra movement speed. Chao coming in now. They're gonna look for the knockback, but it whiffs! Peanut whiffs completely, and now Doran is a dead man walking. Breathe will grab another kill. RNG, they commit the TPs and they find the play. It finally gives them an opening to use this Rift Herald. We see Chovy doesn't commit for the full turret on bot side, does stop the T recall and does go for it. So then how much can RNG get on this top side if the Herald's gonna kill the tower? I wonder if RNG are gonna push in mid and move towards this top tier two while they see Chovy down there. Is there a threat of a tier two? I don't think it is. I think they're kind of saying that you either defend your mid tower or your top tower. And it looks like RNG will get the mid tower instead. Way looking for a dive even. One forward, Ruler in trouble. Ruler's just oh, so squishy. Oh. oh, the sidestep on the ultimate is clean. RNG, are they gonna go for more here? Fishing for the charge, Peanut gonna move in, has the smite auto attack, maybe can finish it before Chashes. That's big, bit of extra damage. RNG get the and one on the Herald charges. RNG are just running away with this game. You look at the game state and you, you ask yourself, what can Genji actually do? They decide on a top dive, but then Xiaohu instantly TPs, Ming's already there because of mid push, and boom, Collapse comes in. Peanut misses that ult, maybe if he knocks Breathe away, Doran could live here. Regardless, ways around, Herald the top tier one, mid tower falls, top tier two is extremely low from the second charge. It's all falling apart for Gen.G. It's so hard for Gen.G. Because Ruler especially just needs time, he needs souls, he needs to be able to follow Peanut around and, and grab souls from these jungle camps, but they're losing chunks of jungle. Peanut now stepping in to clear this grunt, but Ruler has to go back to mid lane in the meantime, and it's just such a long road ahead of Gen.G if they do want to come back in this game. It's a 3k deficit, it's two Drakes, RNG are gonna demand that Gen.G fight them. If not for this Drake, then for the next one. I think especially with the power spikes, but Lens, not gonna be caught out, does, does have the flash available, so... For RNG looking forward, again, the big thing to me is just Gala. Gala being so far ahead mm. of the Gen.G bottom lane, has had the Gale Force for a while, and I imagine sitting on a decent bit of gold. It's just every skirmish, every pan of a camera to a fight. It's RNG flashing forwards and Genji flashing backwards. Right now, they're just catching waves. Baron is up. RNG's Baron, not the fastest. We'll see what a guns Gala can get to see if they want to rush it down. But their easy win condition right now is Dragon stacking. 50 seconds until the Mountain Dra uh, the Infernal Dragon spawns. And they can just secure that, get themselves on Soul Point. I think Genji 
are forced to fight this next dragon in 40 seconds. It's going to be a tough arena to fight in, especially if RNG push out their lanes, get the first vision set up. Going into the Lissandra does not feel good. Similarly with Gala, great guns for a fight. Well played, obviously a sign of a match class of Felios when you've always got the right guns for the exchange. Way laying down a little bit of poke already. Peanut, no real sustain, no Warmogs to his name. Not going to be able to heal that up before the fight to come. A little bit of control for Genji. They managed to get a pink in that mid brush and they're trying to contest this pixel brush. No real huge threat of an engage, just Xiaohu. That's the only person they need to track. Lehen's no flash, Ruda no flash. If he lands on those two in a fight, they will be absolutely blown up by RNG with the Graves ult follow up, the Jax diving in the Leona ult. Battle lines are drawn. Genji going through mid, RNG on the bot side of this fight. What can Chovy get done? Does he go in? Does he play for front to back? How does Doran navigate through this fight as Xiaohu is looking? Tension. This could be huge! Oh, look up Chovy in a flank on the backside, but Chovy still managed to get out. No, Chovy taking down Gala's massive! It's all about Gala, it's all about the Chakrams. Genji running for the hills. Gala says not today. Pushes them away, forces them back, and will take the Infernal. And now RNG on soul point. They're going to be able to make their way towards mid, push us in, potentially even look towards the Baron. Such a long death timer on Chovy. They're running towards the top side of the river. I think you might be right. Xiao, who does have TP up, it just came off the spellbook cooldown. So they're going to force this Baron. It's on Doran, Peanut, and Chovy to contest this. Ming is low. Not much to work with, though. No ultimates. Peanut's on the bot side of the map. This is gone. This is the perfect guns for Felios. They just shred through this. They got 380 threats just banging on this Baron. It's going to get knocked down. RNG in complete control of the game. Dominating fight. Both objectives to their name. 5k gold lead. And Xiaohu and Breathe are really far down in CS. 40, 50 CS deficits. But it's the skirmishes where they're excelling. And they walk into the meat grinder of RNG. Genji are really lucky here. If Xiaohu gets this W ult off, they're all dead. Luckily, he gets pushed back just in time before he does get that ult off. But even still, RNG just runs straight through them. Yeah, and I think it's so important that Gala. I, I don't know if it's a Moonlight Vigil or a Q coming out from the Calibrum, but just able to get that last tick of damage to take down Shobi, who he said kind of needs to be this huge playmaker, this huge DPS source for Genji. Look at the levels on the solo lanes. Breathe and Xiaohu are down a level right now. That's how much they're kind of losing the lane in Breathe's case, getting pushed in by Doran. And the amount of the Xiaohu is just giving up waves to roam around and TP for the team, TP for the skirmishes. Jungle and bot lane ahead for RNG right now, how do they set up with this Baron? They've got a 4-1 going on as Chovy takes his top tier 1. Doesn't have the TP, so there's a number of disadvantage for Genji on the rest of the map. I suppose RNG will just look to force dives if Genji decides to step up. Ult up for Xiao, who already as well. They have the CC available, Ming having it, so Doran gonna have to be careful. At the very least, Ming could just apply this pressure, zone him off. They do it, they're gonna be able to get this one very easily. And Breathe already having a way coming up in bot. Oh, the hands. Kind of hard to approach the Baron Empowered Wave as a Singe, not gonna lie, difficult for him now. Breathe, keep the pressure up. RNG should just be able to walk in, take down these tier two towers. First Baron always feels just like your right to walk into every lane, take every tier two. Pushing it harder, or further rather though, is a different story as the hands will clear this wave. Yeah, pushing into tier threes 23 minutes in is really difficult unless the enemy team makes a mistake. They can just stand next to towers and clear waves. The terrain around the tier three is so much more, so much easier to defend than the terrain around a tier two. So min and bot tier two fall. What RNG will do is they'll do an exact same 4-1 setup, but they'll put Breathe top this time to crack open the top tier two. RNG looking to fight though. Breathe has TP. Peanut in the area. Ooh, Zenith Blade just barely not connecting. Doran able to make it out of that one. RNG being so aggressive with their tools available. And the fact that they're still just pretty much running them down throughout their own jungle is crazy. They have the wave set up in mid, and like you said, Kadrill, just getting that top wave pushed in to make the play for this inner turret. And there's no defense really, is there, unless Genji just decided to take a fight, but lacking the Aatrox ult. Doran just picked up the death dance, so small spikes coming in. They'll try their best to defend this, but 40 seconds left on this Baron buff gives RNG two waves to play on. The question is, do they look to this full-on dive here? They're giving up mid-wave, they're just sending five members top here. Genji matching, Lehen's on the way. Now moving Peanut. in, Peanut trying to find a bit of an engage here, just a bit of poke now traded back. Doran on the retreat, Jahu going back in, Peanut now locked up, locked down, big Abelio assault on the back side, but no follow up quite yet. RNG finding one so far, traded back on the opposite side. Support for jungle in the end. So and one for one. Honestly, RNG, I think, not able to find the fight they want, right? Genji under their turret, Genji able to use those safety tools they have, and things like the Senna ultimate, so the collapse can't really get any more than Peanut. Yeah, Peanut gets absolutely shredded through. Has a lot of tenacity, but RNG does have a lot of damage. Gala wasn't even hitting him in that fight, and he still got melted straight through. Needs to be really careful on stepping up. I think he was trying to bait out some cooldowns here and then just escape afterwards. See him dashing onto Xiaohu, but he used his Q, I believe, on the ground there to clear the creep, so he didn't get a phase rush proc. And by the time he's trying to escape here, 
He's already engaged upon. Ming does go quite deep. I think he tried to E peanut there and actually hit Le Hens on the backside, so he went under tower. He ends up falling, and Genji defend this top tier two. A really good ult from Gala there, but Genji either with enough peace of mind or a little bit of luck to step just out of range of each other to stop that from being a bigger issue. Send a shield as well, obviously mitigating a lot of that upfront damage will only be a stronger defensive tool as we get later and later into the game. Peanut and Doran sticking together, trying to get something done on this map. 45 seconds away from Infernal. This Infernal is everything. RNG take it, it feels like there's almost no way for Genji to come back. Yeah, and when we look in the inventories of RNG members, right, Shahu AB to finally able to finish off the Zanyas. We have a stopwatch for Gala, so having a lot of these defensive tools that if Genji are able to find a bit of a nice engage for themselves, it still seems like RNG have the tools necessary to at least be able to survive, you know, engage from Peanut, if Lehens maybe flashes in and it is able to find an angle. Gen G's biggest hope right now is Chovy just picked up the Rabidon's death cap, 285 CS, level 15. He will dish out a lot of damage if RNG overcommit. It's just this initial engage of RNG is just so powerful that someone always dies from Gen G. And then the Lissandra reset comes forwards and they can start to push through. Doran might be caught Doran. here. He needs to be careful. Oh! Out, ulti coming in. Maybe enough healing. Do they have enough damage to finish him off? He has so much armor. The damage from Lissandra, the only real threat. But no, they're going to finish him. Way taking him down. The Thrall coming through as well. Genji forced to back away. They have to be ready to contest, but Breathe already on the flank. It's a 4v5 for a soul. It looks as good as done here if RNG just waits for Breathe to TP back in and threaten Genji if they decide to walk up. Can Peanut sacrifice himself to steal it? Will RNG even let him? Moonlight Vigil goes wide. Ming getting chunked down, getting lower and lower. That's Infernal Soul, and now they can take the fight to follow, but instead RNG backing away, knowing they've already been chunked. Gallo, they can't afford to walk into that Aphelios turret. They're going to take so much damage if they do. A hands. Losing a third of his HP just for walking in. RNG now on the retreat. They walk away with the major objective. It is nigh impossible now for Gen G. A lot of respect from RNG in a 5v4 in a position where your top laner is TPing back. You have a soul, but then you decide not to pull the trigger and set up for Baron instead. Yeah, I, I guess maybe because RNG having no ultimates available other than mains, not really wanting to take a risky fight, especially when Gen G still have all their tools up. But like you said, Baron coming up in 20 seconds seems like it should be very easy for RNG to pivot to that objective and start, start setting up to break down these inhibitors. What is Gala gonna buy here from base? Just base has a BF on a stopwatch, hasn't completed an infinity edge yet, but I think he's getting very, very close. But Baron's gonna be the aim of the game. RNG's just gonna start it and look for a turn. You have to imagine after they push in mid waves, and that's what Genji wanna stop. They don't wanna lose any mid push, they wanna keep this mid push in so they can at least get some vision in this top side river while RNG's on a reset. Maybe even try to force this mid tier one, but Xiaohu has TP and needs to be careful. Pings on the bot side wards around the entrance red. Xiaohu could just TP behind them here. It's a bit far at this point. Genji now in this river. And Chahu is terrifying, because the Poppy solves so many problems for the side of Genji, but it does not stop Xiaohu from getting into your back line. Incredibly difficult. Gala with a potential follow-up as well. Has the Infirm ready. Big blue ulti. Could seal the deal on the team fight very quickly. Ming fishing, looking for a little bit of a pick. Cleanse comes out from Lehens. Summoner Spellbook as well for a bit of extra movement speed. Ferries him out to safety. Genji staying strong in the mid lane. High risk every time they walk forward. If Xiaohu's waiting over a wall, it could spell the end of the game. Despite that, they're walking forward with confidence. They're contesting the Baron Pit. They're contesting this vision. I think Genji know if they give up this Baron vision for five to 10 seconds, it's as good as gone. But RNG are slowing it down. Gala wants to base here and pick up IE. I imagine there it is. Infinity Edge picked up. He was sitting on a lot of gold. This is Genji's one window to force Baron. I think they know he based. I think they know that the RNG was stalling for this spike. This is their only window back into the game. An incredible read, but will it pay off? Gala running forward, the bear getting lower and lower. 5k, 4k, way waiting over the wall. Here comes Shao. Oh, oh. Again, look at a one-shot ruler goes golden, stops the ult from disengaging. Chovy waiting over the wall. The Sand Soldiers, how much work can they do? Chovy looking to be the difference maker. Shao now taken down, but no, Gala! <laughs> Monster damage from the graves in the Abelios. RNG slaughter Genji in the fight. Shao bought so much time, but the second way in Gala were able to join up so much AoE damage coming out from Wayne Gala's ultimates, and this might just be over. There's the three item spike that RNG was waiting for. That's why there was one to two minutes downtime, and Gala made a hell of an arrival. Instantly destroys Gen G, and they might just end it here. And despite an inconsistent plan stage, RNG coming out with an incredible showing in game one versus Gen G. Chovy doing what he can to hold the line. But it will not be enough. RNG taking their first win of the group stage. Like you said, they, they might have been shaken.